I'm going to introduce you to the Cashmerette Fuller Cardigan, the very first cardigan pattern from Cashmerette Patterns. So it's a really versatile, easy to sew pattern, and we designed it in a way that it can go with basically everything in your wardrobe where a cardigan is required. So today I'm going to show you the key features. We're going to talk a bit about fabric and other ways you might be able to adapt the pattern. So this is view A on our lovely mannequin here. So let's look at the features. It has raglan sleeves, something that has been highly requested ever since I started Cashmere. It's a tricky one to get right when you have a big bust, but I'm going to explain a little bit later how we made that work. So the raglan sleeves here and view A hits at mid hip. It's got this really nice deep V, which is a very nice line when you have a larger bust. Great for layering over t-shirts. We have a Springfield top here. And we have one inch buttons, an interface neckline, and it's a really fantastic cardigan, really for like every day. I wear this style of cardigan constantly with jeans, with leggings, at the weekends, but depending on which fabric you make, totally suitable for work too. View B is what I am wearing. So as you can see, style it like this and it's a little bit more fancy. Um, it's a cropped length and it works super well with the Upton dress, which I'm wearing here. It has a narrower facing and a small band at the bottom. We've got these slightly cropped sleeves, but you can use either sleeve on either cardigan, that's fine. And smaller buttons, they're half an inch, five eighths of an inch, depending on what you want to wear. This one is sort of light sweat in it. This sample we've made in a like beefier rayon sweat in it, but there are lots of different options. So let's take a look at the details. So the fuller cardigan has two sets of darts. The first one are the bust darts. Now you may be thinking, why do I have bust darts in a knit cardigan? Well, two reasons. The first one is when you have a larger bust, bust darts are just generally a good thing. They really help shape and mean that you don't have lots of fabric just falling down from your boobs. But the other reason is raglan sleeves. You can really find a lot of rippling along the seam if you have a larger bust. And the secret to stopping that happen is bust darts. The second set of darts we have are shoulder darts. So in the middle of the raglan sleeve, we actually have just a small shoulder dart here. And that helps give you the shaping and again, avoid like folds around the bust and the armpit area. If we have a look inside, we have this facing here. So it's a faced approach rather than a banded one. And you actually use a non-stretch interfacing there, which gives it a little bit of structure and holds it nicely. So if I open this up, you can see the interfaced band. And we also have a really nice little mitered hem here for a lovely little finish at the bottom. So that's what view A looks like. View B that I'm wearing, fundamentally the same thing. It's got a bust start, but the difference is the neckline comes up high here and the facing is a little bit narrower, so it's a bit more of a delicate look. Now, in terms of fabrics, there's lots of options. So we've used a lot of jerseys. So you can use wool jersey, rayon jersey, cotton jersey, or you could use a ponte, which is a little bit thicker, and it's gonna give a little bit more of a sort of look that's structured. You can also go for lightweight set sweater knits or French terry. Um, we don't really rely on negative ease in this pattern, so it doesn't mean that the stretch is not as important as it would normally be. Um, but really, you just want something that's gonna kind of flow nicely over your clothes. And the final thing to think about is these raglan sleeves mean you can totally color block. So we've done some kind of classic samples here all in one color, but if you want to, you know, you can totally use a different color for the sleeves and the body and get an entirely different look. You could even join the pieces up at the front and make a raglan sweater if you wanted. So that's the fuller cardigan. It's super versatile. It's very easy to make, and I hope you enjoy wearing it.